Hello friends. So once again welcome to my channel. In our last video we are looking at the concept of virtual memory. We have seen the introduction to it. Then next today we will continue with the same discussion that is the implementation of virtual memory using the concept of paging. It says my process consists of a number of pages and what is page? Page is a set of contiguous bytes present on the secondary storage and my process consists in of a number of pages and equivalent to pages same size fragments will be there in the main memory called as frames whenever a process is executing whatever portion it is referring for that portion pages will be brought into the main memory into some frames and that frames need not have to be contiguous in main memory maybe frame number 0 maybe frame number 10 maybe frame number 7 maybe frame number 9 then maybe frame number 20 anywhere my pages will be scattered inside a frame right so this is one bigger point the concept of virtual memory is implemented using the concept of paging paging is a concept of non contiguous memory allocation the memory is divided into equal size fragments called as frames logical memory that is secondary storage is implemented using same size blocks called as pages the when a process is executed whatever uh, is pages are loaded into the available main memory not the whole of his pages whatever pages it is referring right in execution it is using those pages are loaded into the available memory frames the pages belonging to the process can be stored any in any of the free frames and they need not have to be contiguous this is the another bigger conclusion and what is our unit of allocation frame do understand this this has a bigger significance my unit of allocation is frame but uh, it is not guaranteed the size of a process for any process the size may not be exactly fall in the uh, what is that boundary of a uh, boundary of a frame what does it mean suppose my frame consists of 1k my pages are also of 1k bytes 1k size 1k size right right and suppose my process consists of 4.2k suppose my process consists of 4.2k what does it mean it means that how many uh, pages do i require i require how many pages i require 4 plus 1 why because 4 k is there 1k for one, one page so 4 i exactly require but this 0.2k also belongs to me during execution i may refer to this part also so for this also i require one page so see total five pages are required by this process but this process is not going to use the fifth page completely because in the fifth page the total size is what 1k but how much I am using? 0.2. That means 80% of it will remain unused. But I cannot give it to anyone. Because my unit of allocation is what? Pays and frames only. So this means inside my pays, whatever portion I am not going to use, that will remain unused, but that will be allocated to me. And that portion of memory is called as internal fragmentation. This is also one beautiful concept. Your paging suffers from internal fragmentation. Here I have shown you bigger margin. Maybe sometimes the process size is 4.9. So it is kind of okay for us. So it, the process size may be anything. So this is also one example for that. Hope you have understood what is internal fragmentation. Paging suffers from internal fragmentation because my unit of allocation is fixed size blocks. But the process may not be of that exactly equal to the size of my free size blocks it may be something more than that then i need another block but in that block most of the portion will remain unused and that portion is nothing but internal fragmentation hope this part is clear then the next is see whatever i was telling this uh, picture we will see this see suppose my process consists of four pages page zero page one page two page three this is there on logical memory now see these pages will be scattered throughout the main memory anywhere my main memory is also not contiguous area of bytes it is nothing but now i will see this one as a some number of frames my main memory is divided into some blocks each block is called a frame so in my main memory say 
total eight number of frames are there. Now my page zero may be anywhere in the main memory. Let's say it is in frame number one, page number one in frame number four, page number two in frame number three, <coughs> page number three in frame number seven. This is one simple minimal example I have taken. But my process may consist of your thousands of pages, and those thousand of pages may scatter throughout anywhere in the main memory. Now suppose I am referring to a data inside my page number one. Then first I need to know that in which frame it is there. Then only I can get the data. But I can't remember it because I may have thousand number of pages scattered throughout the main memory in thousand number of frames anywhere. So to remember which page is there in which particular frame number of the main memory, we are using one data structure. That data structure is called as page table. In page table, we do store the frames allocated to your logical pages. So in this page table, the indexes are nothing but logical page numbers. And where they are residing in the main memory frame numbers, that is their corresponding entry. Let's say for this example, page number two is there where? In frame number three. So at index 2, the value is 3. For index 2, entry is 3. Why do I require it? Because I may have large number of pages. They may be anywhere. I need to know where they are. I can't remember them. Due to that, I need to use one table. That data structure we use as a page table. And for a particular process, a page table will be there. So uh, concept of page table is per process. In your system, let's say 20 processes are there in the main memory right now. Then in your main memory, 20 number of page tables will be there. If my paging concept is implemented like this. So 20 page tables will be there if 20 number of processes are there. Now the point is, if we have 20 process and 20 number of page tables, which page table I need to refer? So whenever one process starts its execution, in his process control block, the starting address of this table is there and that address will be loaded into one dedicated register called as PTBR, PTBR, right? PTBR holds for the currently executing process page tables base address. That means the starting address or in the main memory. If I know this is my table, then in this table, I can index my logical page number and I will get my frame number then from there I can get the data easily. So this is how it works. So a process consists of what? A number of pages. And inside one page, our required data will be there, right? To access an element, maybe instruction, maybe data. So I have written an element. Every address generated by the CPU is divided into two parts. CPU will generate one number as an address. That will divide into two parts. One is page number, one is page offset. That means which page the address will be there and inside the page, how far it is located, that is a page offset. So see, a particular page number P can be allocated any frames F in the main memory. So this process, this page P is allocated which frame number, how can I get it? By using my page table. How can I use that? This P will be used as an index in your page table. The entry will give you the corresponding frame number. That means this page number is there in the main memory in this particular frame number. A process consists of a number of pages. Each of them will be scattered throughout the available frames in the main memory that I already told you. Because of that, we require one data structure termed as what page table to store which frame is allocated to a particular page P. In the index into the page table indicates what? The page number that I have shown you in that example. And the entry indicates what? Means the content of that particular entry indicates what? The frame number allocated to the index page number, right? Now see the whole address translation mechanism I am going to explain. And this is very, very important topic address translation that is from virtual address to physical address right so processor will generate the address with respect to the virtual address space the address has got two components will divide it internally into two parts 
one is page number one is offset what is offset inside the page where your data item can be found that is given by this offset right now see the page table base register ptbr i have already mentioned so see what happens is uh, this part uh, the address will come from the processor then from that this virtual page number is taken this virtual page number is added with the your page table base address right so page table address is there it is giving me what the starting address of my page table because right now one process is going on that process page table address is there in ptbr with that we'll add this virtual page number that will give me one entry into the page table right from that entry in this entry some control bits are there and the frame number is there control bits may indicate the page is dirty or not uh, suppose uh, and then this indicate what are the permission rights are there it is read only page or i can write into it or it is for execution only so various control bits are there for various conditions applicable to a particular frame so from this index i'll get what my frame number with this frame number the offset is added both page and frame are both of them are of same size so the offset will remain same inside a frame also whatever offset is there inside this the same offset will be there in the main memory page frame also so directly i will combine with this and that will give me my physical address in the main memory right <coughs> hope this part is clear so see main main processor will generate one address from that address one part will give me index into my table from there i'll get my frame number with that i'll combine offset and i'll get the physical address right hope this one is clear the next is to generate a pa for a given la the explanation is again written the page number p is index into the page table that i have mentioned page table base register contains the base address of the page table for the currently executing process ptbr's content is combined with the page number to get the corresponding entry into the page table and from that entry I, what i will get my frame number let the entry is f so f is the frame number for the given page number p and with this f will combine the offset d to get the actual physical address so see uh, the fo uh, complete formula i can write physical address equal to whatever is the content of ptbr with that i will add p at that address in the memory i will get what my frame number with that i'll multiply the size of page or frame number and with that i will add the offset and i'll come up with the physical address this i am talking if i am talking about the addresses in decimal next i will show you one example where you will understand the complete process exactly suppose this is my logical address are there suppose one process consists of four number of pages page 0 page 1 page 2 page 3 in the page table four entries will be there and they are indicating in which particular frame numbers my page number 0 page number 1 page number 2 and page number 3 are there in the main memory right so now see we'll see one example suppose processor has generated the logical address 6 and it is given that page size is of 4 bytes so to represent 4 bytes how many bits i require as a offset 2 bits because 0 1 2 3 these are the four possible values inside a page right so at zero index at zero at distance first byte will be there then one then two then three so to generate these three combinations four combinations we require two bits in binary if i am talking right so see from this address i will try to get my page number and offset so see this part i am going to explain in my next video till then thank you